10 Sunday. And tonight at 10, Governor Walker has signed the budget. Now he's counting down the final hours until his big announcement. This time tomorrow, Scott Walker will officially be running for president. Good evening. I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Katie Crowther. That announcement happening tomorrow at the Waukesha County Expo Center. Todd Hicks is there live tonight with a look ahead. Hey, Todd. Charles and Katie, work has been underway here for the last 48 hours or so. Today they performed things like lighting and last minute sound checks all in advance of tomorrow's big announcement. It's a complete transformation of Waukesha's Expo Center. The planning has been in the works for a long time. This is where Governor Scott Walker will announce he's running for president. His deputy communications director, Kurt Cashauer, here with many Sunday to make sure the stage is set and goes off without a hitch. This certainly didn't happen overnight, even though it was constructed over the course of two nights. Engineers here testing and retesting lighting and sound before several thousand arrive, and work has been around the clock. How many people did it take to put all of this together? I mean, when I look around, it's very dramatic. Well, I mean, about 20 people to construct it, but when you think of all the campaign folks who've uh, put their work into it, we're talking close to 100 folks. Wisconsin Democratic Representative Peter Barca doesn't buy the hype. Ahead of Monday's event, he bashed the governor and his looming run. I think if ever in this country we needed uh, somebody that could bring us together as a nation, he's exactly the wrong person. But Walker does have his followers, and many claim Waukesha is the heart of Walker country. Governor Walker was pretty insistent that this announcement happen in Waukesha. Well, Waukesha is a very important part of the state, so what better place to uh, make this special announcement? And you can see that the international as well as national media has already prepositioned all of their trucks here. Now, a campaign staffer tells me that tickets are still available, but people here tomorrow will need to pre-register. You can do that at scottwalker.com. We're live in Waukesha tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. All right, Todd, thanks.